Hello, hello YouTube. Church text park with another great tutorial. In today's tutorial is about how to fix this app cannot run on your PC in Windows computer. So when you try to run a new application or a new program, your PC may say this app cannot run on your PC. So to solve this problem, we are going to use five solution and this solution will work for all Windows operating system, Windows 10, Windows 11 and other. So let's start from solution number one. Solution number one would be, it may relate with, with virus or malware. So scan your computer. So in order to scan, you can use the built-in antivirus for your Windows computer, which is Windows Security. So click here the search icon and go type here Windows Security and click here the Windows Security. Then after that, you will find virus and threat protection, then open it and you will find scan options here. Select the scan options and here different scanning options. I recommend you to use the full scan. So it will take a long time or small time based on your number of files or number of programs that are included on your computer. So click the full scan and select scan now so it will start detecting and finally remove all those viruses or trojans into a quarantine or delete section of your windows security so scan your computer using your windows security or else you can use a third party antivirus like malwarebytes mcafee or avas or any third party antivirus which can help you to scan your computer if scanning your computer from virus is not helping you, then the second solution would be changing the user account control setting. So in order to do that, click here the search icon and type user account control setting. Here, change user account control settings. So open it. So here, the user account control setting so put the cursor or the label under notify me only when applications try to make changes to my computer default so put it under the second section and click here ok and confirm here by selecting yes so after changing the user account control setting if the problem is still occurring then the search solution will be changing some settings under the local security policy so in order to do that again click here the search icon and type local security policy here the local security policy then open it here the local security policy opened so after it opened just click here local policies option which is click the arrow and under the local policy option you will find security option so select the security option and under the security option, find for user account control admin. Here we find the user account control admin approval mode for the built-in administrator account. So double click on it. And when you double click on it here, you will find two options. So select enabled and click here apply and click OK. Then after you make changes for the user account admin approval, then on the next line, you will find again user account control allow UI access application to the prompt for elevation without using the secure desktop. Again, double click on it and enable it. So select enabled and click here apply and select OK. And after you do that, then again, find for user account run all administrator in the admin approval mode which is this one again double click on it and in my case it's enabled so make sure you select enabled and click apply then select here ok and close your local security policy and restart your computer so after the restarting if the problem is still continuing then solution number four will be turning on the developer mode on your computer. So in order to turn on the developer mode, again, click here the search icon and type settings. Click here the settings and under the settings, you will find privacy and security on the bottom. Just open the privacy and security. 
and you will find an option for developers here on the right side then open it and you will find here a toggle which is developer mode so turn it on which is install apps from any source including loose files it will give you a permission so select here turn on then it will ask you a confirmation you read this uh, information and confirm by selecting here yes so turning on the developer mode also help you to solve this problem if the problem still continues then the final solution for this video will be creating another account which is click here the search icon and type your settings here the settings and you will find accounts on the left side open the accounts and scroll down and you will find family and other users select that and click here add other user here add accounts so select add accounts and it will give you an option to create a new account so here it will show you to insert your email address so you can leave it by selecting here i don't have the sign in information and you can insert again here your you can create your account or it can simply proceed to add a user without a microsoft account then insert your username something like this password then re-enter your password again answer the security questions here again answer your security questions and click here next here the account created then after that click here the arrow and select here account option select here change account type and here the account is standard user so select this and make it administrator then select here ok so the account is now in administrator privilege so close this account and sign in with the new account that you created so these are the solutions how you can fix this app cannot run on your pc in windows computer so if this video is helpful please like subscribe and share to your friends thank you for watching let's take out